Hello YouTube, Duncan here with update number 11, and today I don't have much to show you, but I thought I'd start in my room, so I got the shelves here, black, uh, so yeah, the, we got these shelves installed today, and um, yeah, so I'm going to use them to display creations like the tank and sets like the Desert Skiff, Starfighter, and my minifigure stuff, so. Yeah, there's that. Um, I guess we'll go up to the Lego room. We've got some stuff to show. So, let's go. Okay, so here we have, are up in the Lego room. And um, so I've done a few things for this mock. The A flag level 2. So you can see I've tiled this part here, this is part, and then these edges. Uh, I wish I could do this part too, but I don't have enough tiles. I mostly used red, which I don't really want to do. I've just got some right over there, so, yeah, and then I've got these two things up here, like that, and uh, another player shooting across at the A flag, there's a guy already climbing up, and uh, there's the flag for this level, red and yellow, so, there's that guy crushing down there, this guy, but to the visors, the clone visors on his backpack. So, and he's climbing up there. I just thought it looked kind of cool. A clock in here. <laughs> um, I really need to get more life weights. So, um, there's. It's the mock is almost. This is almost done. This mock. So, soon, when it's done, I think I will do a video on it, maybe just a probably just a slideshow. And then a little video segment showing the life light stuff. But that part slides in and out like that. So. And then hopefully I can get it up on the mock pages. Um, but I just got to do some interior detail here. And I also figured out how to keep the lights. Staying up, so they before they were all falling off, but now they stay up because I've got the extra studs under there, and uh, yeah, took apart the um, droid escape. Um, I think that's it. This update. So, um, oh yeah. Um, I have to tell you that I am going to enter LEGO Boys Contest, Base Contest 5.0. Um, it's the last contest, and I've got until December to do it, so... I figured I might as well enter. So I'll probably be able to come up with something. It'll be like... Probably at the most it'll be one green base plate, so... Like half the size of this. And that's... Sounds pretty small, but uh, you can do a lot on one base plate. It's just, um, it may not win because uh, a lot of the time it seems like that contest is more about how many clones are in it and that it takes up at least 17 gray base plates. So that might be exaggerating a little bit, but um, oh, it, a lot of it is the size factor. Even though he says to make it sound fairly that any size will do and has a fair chance, it Probably most likely doesn't, but I'm just gonna do my best, and hopefully he'll actually notice it and you know say, "Hey, look, this person can do something cool with a small area instead of putting billions of clones on one base plate and then calling it a base." So, all right, twenty gray base plates. But yeah, so um, after that little epiphany, there, I guess. Um, but, yeah, so, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll gotta do some interior work on that building, just like cobwebs or something. I don't know, I've got those crates there, and those crates out there, and they look pretty cool. They look nice. So, um, I guess that's it for this update. Um, that Lego Builder signing off, and happy building.